brought to you with the Golden Tire 201, the ultimate 50-50 adventure tire. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the 201, click on the link in the description below. Last time on Races to Places, the dynamic duo parted company, leaving Lyndon to jump straight into the epic Tajikistan mountains solo. In the last episode, Lyndon had gone as far as he could up the trail, past the Seven Lakes, and had to make the disappointing decision to turn around and head back down. But Lyndon is fond of all mechanical devices, and on his way spots something rather interesting. So I'm up in the mountains, and here there's a, there's a stream behind me, quite a big, more like a river really, but uh, man-made, so it's been dug. And then the locals have basically made a water wheel. And the water wheel has got paddles, metal paddles on it, and then most of the paddles have got like paint tins or maybe even like old oil jugs or something. And they're basically carrying the water around, dumping it in the oil half oil drum at the top, and then it's running down the pipework into the house. It's obviously got some pressure to get across there. Innovative, but pretty cool. <laughs> Aboard Basel, Lyndon makes his way south and eventually east toward the Afghan border. He travels on the M34 through the Anzob Tunnel to explore the mountain tracks to the east using Walter Kolbach's GPS guidance. However, things slow down a little in the Anzob Tunnel. So the tunnel is completely blocked, there's been an accident or something. It's complete carnage, like the whole tunnel is just blocked with cars. And it absolutely stinks, there's like no ventilation. There's no ventilation or any... <coughs> I can't even breathe. So, I feel like I have to just say a few pieces to camera because that was one of the maddest experiences I have ever had. We just kept, I just came up to a tunnel there and didn't think anything of it. Set off into the tunnel. It was completely choked with smoke. Uh, I had the GoPro on. I put the Go went back and put the GoPro on. Went in again, but it was just. Hopefully, the GoPro captured what it was like. But basically, there's a tunnel. There's a load of work going on. There's actually two tunnels. Only one of them's open, so there's two-way traffic. There's a load of works in the middle, and they've dug half of it up. So there's cars trying to get past with no traffic lights, no signals, no one controlling it. It's just total bedlam. All you can do is just smell the smoke from the trucks. Um, there was there was an accident in the middle where there was a car facing the wrong way because it had hit a truck. And then further, I've got past that. I tried to film some, but it, it was totally mad. I just had to keep going. And then, excuse me. <coughs> Wow. And then there was an articulated truck. There was a load of rebar sticking up out of the floor and an articulated truck had run over it and every single tire on the left hand side was completely flat. And it was just blocking the whole tunnel. I mean, fortunately I was on the motorcycle, but I was choking everyone had the windows up. Uh, I tried to capture what it was like, but I don't think the video will show it, but I just hope so. And I took some still pictures, so hopefully that'll show what it was like. Complete madness. Never seen anything like it in my life. What an experience. Here in the UK, when we watch the news on TV, you're sometimes given the impression that people in the stands are all like terrorists, kidnapping innocent aid workers for what seems like pointless reasons and doing the most inhumane things to them. These impressions are probably fueled by the close proximity in both geography and name of Afghanistan. Riding Basel into this region for the Races to Places project, Lyndon has found nothing but warmth and hospitality from a majority of people who have very little in the way of possessions, 
but huge amounts of kindness and happiness for guests and for each other. Sometimes giving away their precious food or openly sharing their home with a stranger on a motorcycle that is probably worth more than all their homes and possessions put together. Stayed with uh, this family here, so I'll let you uh, I'll let them introduce themselves. Um, please introduce yourself. Your name? My name is Yusuf Sorry, but it's a traditional family house, not tragic because every pillar has, has its own names. Every pillar. This square room also has a name. Uh, but I can't remember the pillars, but I can tell uh, the first square room means uh, soil or sand, the second water, the third wind, and the fourth, more important, they told that is fire. The on, the top, on the top, skylight. Yeah, okay. and the different squares represent the different... Different names. Very good. Yeah. And uh, this is the, cook, the cooker, yeah? The, yeah. the, the, the oven, cooker, the stove. Yeah. Yeah. The stove on it. Inside in winter time we will cook. Okay. Million. This and we we'll, we have in ancient time we have the baking place and do like yeah. the Indian people. You speak very good English. Can you tell us where you go, where you learnt your English and like, uh, I started during the Soviet period in the Shambi. I started and then I was I worked as a, sorry, I worked as an English teacher in this area. Very I've good. been with tourists many many countries like Afghanistan, like Kyrgyzstan, around yeah. Tajikistan. Yeah. And in fam local families, is it normal for them to sleep in here also? Yeah, yeah. So they would sleep here? On they the sleep everywhere they, if they want. When French move, shoot a movie, they slept all of them. Okay. About and 12 people, 12. 12 people, people yeah. in this one, one house? One house, yeah. It's very nice. Right now I have also reconstructed you had me. Yeah, it's very nice to to meet somebody um, that speaks English, English and yeah. can can it's help important. can help with organizing yeah. trips and events and yeah. help you get things that you need. So it's very nice to stay here. Did they say arrange dinner and breakfast or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. They did. You do that here. You do dinner yeah. also. Breakfast, yeah. Dinner. yeah. For me, it's very easy because I eat anything, nothing. I, I, you know, I like. And everything, eat everything, so it's no problem for me. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So, some people will go to... The next morning, it's time to head east along the Afghan border towards the Pamir Highway, which is the only continuous route through the difficult terrain of the mountains. Mm -hmm. And it's not long before he encounters an overturned lorry. Yep, that is definitely a fail right there. Seeing a waterfall dropping down onto the road whilst the temperatures are soaring, the big kid in Linden comes out. I meet some fantastic people on this trip, also doing similar things to me, travelling around the world or just on their own big adventure. And I've just met a couple from Ireland uh, that are doing a huge loop um, back to Ireland, uh, heading in the same direction as me in the Unimog type vehicle. And uh, really nice just to stop and chat to them for a bit and they offered me some food. So I got some food and talked to them about the bike and trucks and journey and everything. And, uh, their dog was having a swim in the river and yeah, it was just fun times. Really, really nice to meet like-minded people um, on, this, on this adventure of mine. See you later. Being from England, sometimes we take for granted that the rest of the world is so keen to speak our language. There's a little girl here who would like to read me an English uh, oh, rhyme. rhyme. So I'm just going to listen to an English rhyme from this little girl. So please go. My name 
My dear, dear mommy, I love you very much. I want to be happy on the 8th of March. Be happy, be happy on the 8th of March. Be happy, be happy on the 8th of March. Very good indeed. Thank you very much. Ask his name. Very good. What is your name? My name is Tatiana. What's your name? My name is Lyndon. Where are you from? I'm from Manchester in England. Manchester. Where Manchester. are you from? I'm from Indonesia. Nice. Indonesia. Very good. Nice to meet you. Very good. Nice to meet you too. <laughs>